Get crushed in my hand. <laughs> he knows. No, I don't need boss fighters, man. I need boss fighters if I'm struggling against uh, control decks, but I'm doing good against control decks. It's the aggro decks that's hard for this. So. So I really just want to be able to deal with aggro a little bit better than control. Ball of Spiders, good against control, bad against aggro. This is why I'm not running that card. Acid Maw again is another card that beats control, but doesn't really do anything against aggro, so... Just trying to make it better against aggro. These spiders out here. We're like almost guaranteed to land a Houndmaster now. In before Cleave Whirlwind. Alright. We could try and Houndmaster trade and then Timberwolf trade. Kind of plays in a brawl a little bit. I'm pretty sure we just do this. And we could even play this and go face if I really wanted to. I think I do. Just film him. Like, it's not the greatest brawl in the world for him, anyway. Let's see if I can get some extra chip damage in with it. I might. That might be what I'm missing. I might need Dread Scale in here. To be straight. Oh, he just got the nuts. That's insane. Well played. That's OP. Guess I shouldn't have played Timberwolf because he was gonna get. Unstable Ghoul off a of Shredder. Dread Scale, that's a good suggestion. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we got some heat turned up on him. He's taking so much damage, should be fine. Alright, that is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 2 damage off lethal. Just dominant. Right in the face. It's really good. Getting close to that King Crush moment. Hopefully he doesn't have a belcher. Close to crush time. Oh, this is a good one. Call pet something big. Never lucky. <laughs> eh. We'll just save it, we'll save it. We set up lethal with crush, so we're good anyway. It's crush time. <laughs> he can't beat it! He knows it's coming because he saw it earlier and he can't beat it. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, we need Dread Scale in here. That's what we're missing. We're just missing that little extra oomph against aggro. I like that Dread Scale idea. Do I own Dread Scale? Dread Scale costs 3, right? There it is. Alright, what am I cutting for Dread Scale? Maybe one of these companions, honestly. Red Skill works with Call Pet too, so that's pretty sweet. Some Gucci combos.
scientist, obviously, and then try and find some other crap. Double bow. Looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of face punch in this game. I'm gonna intimidate him with Timberwolf. Nah, I should probably hold it. Yeah, okay, we'll hold it, we'll hold it. We got Coin Bow to deal with Aspirant, so we're good on that front, and then. Got Scientist on two. I like some weird Tundra. I know Coin Timberwolf plays, you know, standard stuff. on it. to get a bow up this turn. Mom.
9, 10. We're one damage off lethal. You gotta get this out of the way. Actually, we could have done that next turn. A little dumb. It's like, there's obviously gonna be a minion stall in the field next turn. I'm just adding so much damage to the board for myself right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Wasn't good though. Alright, it's okay. We'll just do this now, and... Yeah, Coin King Crash is still gonna kill him. What am I talking about? We're fine, we're fine. There is a Consecrate that could possibly screw us, though. That was a terrible turn. I may have thrown the game. But I don't think so, because, like, he's probably not even going to set up to kill me anyway. He has to have, like, an exact card to punish me for being bad. And, like, this is Hearthstone. Bad players usually just win. Alright, no way he has Consecrate on the backswing of this. No, he does. Fuck. I might have just thrown. It's okay, the game will give me the win because I deserve it. This coin will do something good. There better not be a Noble Sacrifice. Alright, one of those is probably a Noble Sacrifice. We can test first with the 5-5 five five before we commit. <laughs> Boom. Solid win right now. We're even beating Paladins now. Call cool. Pet Hunter. OP. Lizard nerf, please. What's the hard counter to fucking Paladin? Uh, you're watching it in action right now, man. It is definitely King Crush Hunter. King Crush, call Pet. Number one cards against Paladin. I'll take him to Pound Town all the time. I tiger him, lion him, and crush him. Alright. Good hand, good hand. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit! Now my scientists are not gonna pull any traps. Shit. Alright. It's good, it's good, it's good. That's what we wanted. Oh, that's a good top deck. We don't want to play Scientist because it actually doesn't pull any trash.
Honestly, like the guy piloting this deck, obviously, no idea what he's doing. Guy that made the deck, genius. All right, we got cards to do things. No two draft to follow up our two draft, so let's not coin the two draft. I'm casting in like an hour. Or 45 minutes, so. Let's see how that goes. Just deposit this damage right to the dome. Control Hunter. Controls the face really good. Test for barriers, see if we can get some information about this deck. We do get some information here, it is a freeze mage again. We Gucci though, we Gucci. We got tigers, we got high mains. We got a sick curve this game, so I think we actually might come ahead here. Even though this matchup should be like god awful for us. That sucks. Got him all the way down to 22. The race begins. He's not going to have Emperor here after the perfect Frost Nova Doom Serum fly, isn't that right? Nah, he does. He does. He does. He's going to rope it and then play it too. Yep. See, this is what happens. He's the best. Alright, we could double unleash, kill it. Oh, we got quick shot off the top. Standard world championship. Alright, let's hook for this. I think we should kill it this time. He's got Ronin in his deck, what? He's gonna try and kill me with infinite missiles. Oh man. He's going for it. He's playing like Flame Waker, Freeze Mage, like Purple Drank or something. It's gonna be sick. I'm excited to see what this guy's deck can do. I guess I just want to squeeze in hero powers. Screw it. The other barrier. God bless. Tiger does put up a lot of damage though, and double Timberwolf unleash. I mean, Timberwolf double unleash. It's pretty sick actually. Can get some damage in there. Alright, two minions in play. We could get in there deep with some damages. I don't think so yet. I think it's a little early. Squeeze in the hero power, punch face for five. Get him down nice and low. We do want to do this pretty soon though. I guess he knows he's getting blocked, so that's not good for me. Does he just have enough damage? Can't pop him, right? Man.
Oops. No, no, it wouldn't matter. I was like, wait, if I just zero powered, I could have bobbed him. But now I got no. Man, they always have Alex on 9 with all the burn to follow it. It's so gay. It's not fair. It's so fun and interactive. Oh shit, he doesn't have all the burn. We could be in this still. No. No, he's gonna generate enough burn to kill me next turn. All I need to do is generate two fireballs, yep. Now we're dead next turn. Unless we run Flare, there's nothing we can do here. And we don't run Flare. If it was Ice Barrier, he would miss lethal. He's already used two Ice Barriers. There's a 100% chance to be Ice Block. We're dead. Look, Taunts. <sighs> Take out Call Pet, run Flare. It's basically the same thing. Honestly, that might actually be just a good deck. You might be onto something. This might actually just be genius. Chat might be a genius. That could work. You guys might be onto something. Let's try it. Let's try it with the flares. Let's try it with the flares. We just did something. We should be super favored against this, even without Call Pet. Because every time we've played Call Pet so far, we have not hit a beast. We've just been the least lucky person ever. But, uh... But yeah, now we got flares, man. One flare, one Call Pet. And to that I say, fuck Paladins. And Freeze Mages alike. Uh... Alright, Geddon, that's scary. We lost the Yoast, which is unfortunate. Our win rate goes up a lot when we win that Yost. Okay, I don't mind that. He didn't develop a weapon, that's pretty sweet for me. Oh my god, two high mains. So slow. The old hero power pass. We got double explosive, double high main Bodra. It's not the prettiest set of cards you've ever seen in your life, but it might be just enough to get the job done. It's not the cards we wanted, but it might just be the cards we needed. It looks like he's having a slow draw as well, so he's got lots of removal in his hand. So it should be kind of clunky for him to deal with this. Impossible to deal with, LT Gray Super Stealth Tiger. Fog Champ. Well, Flare can counter secrets depending on the order. So if Counterspell is played first, then the Counterspell is going to Counterspell the Flare. If Counterspell is played last on the Secret Tree, then uh, you get a Flare. All the secrets up to the point where the Counterspell has been played gets destroyed. So if it's like Mirror Entity, then Counterspell, then uh, Effigy, for example, you'd get rid of the Mirror Entity and the Counterspell and the Effigy would remain. At least that's my experience with the card. I'm not a scientist when it comes to these sort of things, but that's what I think. I don't even want to reveal this, I'll just let him swing into this. Right? Yeah. 
Wouldn't be sneaky with the tiger. I like it like that. Oh fuck. Freezing trap. Good thing we run freezing trap. He's never gonna figure this out. Alright, let's hope this works out. God, this freezing trap is so good. Everyone's gonna call you a stream sniper. He knows. We're dead. Yeah, good job! You're a genius! Nah, nah, it's okay, it's okay. He probably just thought 100% of the time he loses if it's freezing, so he's gotta go for the risk. Which makes sense. I respect his decision making. I think it's correct. But god damn it, it's so strong. Like, he has to either attack or lose. He's probably not sniping. Like, if it is freezing, he loses 100%. So I feel like he probably just had to do it. Yeah, coin armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good old crush. It just brings so much joy to my life every time I draw this card. I love this card. I love this card. So good. So we have minions on field and a crush in hand. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage. And the other way is this is 8, 9, 10. It's not enough. We can do 17 max. What up? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have held that bag in case. Oh, I can't, Alex. There's a crush in the way. God, that's awesome. You can't tank up through a King Crush. You're dead, man. I'm sorry. What is he open to accomplish here? Ah. Come on, Big Daddy Crush. Oh. Three, six, seven, eight. We're one off if he shield slams us. Now we just need any beast in Beast Hunter. We're playing Beast Hunter. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Can't stop this deck. Deck's insane. Oh, yeah. Deck's 30. Oh, King Crush, man. So, so, so glorious. Alright, queuing up another game. 
let's do it. <laughs> Flair did so much work that game. So good. Guys, the things, the dudes. Not a bad hand. We need a beast for this houndy, but other than that, we're ready. Tundra Rhino, the man himself. This could actually do work against Handlock. They don't remove it on five, and then you just play the world. Oh my. Stranglethorn Tiger's sick against Handlock. Man, that burst potential, though. Do I have a favorite per player in the upcoming BlizzCon? Yeah, man. Purple's my favorite player. He's, uh... He was, like, one of my best friends in Hearthstone. When we joined the same team together, we both got on Archon, played together all the time. So, yeah, man. I hope Purple wins it all. Uh, he helped coach me. I don't know how to coach, but, like, play-tested with me for last year's BlizzCon. So I've known him a long time, and I hope he does well. Oh, this sucks. I guess we're just gonna get some chip damage in, get a T grade down, and then try and get a Houndmaster on it and see what we can do. What time is the tournament today? The tournament's in 40 minutes. So, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna, like, pee and then get right into... get right into hosting... or casting. So, it's gonna be sweet. Alright, Stranglethorn, T grade. Probably hold on to the bow. Might be handy. Hey, you best be healing. Alright, take care of that guy. Throw this guy down there. Launch that at his dome. Hmm. Delicious. Is it turning on my channel? now? Nah, I'll host the channel though. It's on HS underscore arena or something. I don't know. Oh, it's got the dark bomb coil. Oh, shit. He's got the plays, got the plays. It's fancy. Alright, we'll beat Giants with this. No, oh, come on, Timberwolf. Why you gotta suck so much? I'm just gonna show him what's up here. This is a lot of damage, potentially. 13, is that? We can make something happen here. If he plays like Boom or something, we can get 6, 11, 14. 14 damage if he plays Boom and makes this trade. He's gonna taunt up though. I guess this is how we're taking the game. I'm trying to do it the slow way. Which is really bad against second heal bot or Jaraxxus, but it's what we gotta do. We gotta find the other kill command and then we're just all set. The slow approach.
Right, we got this flare. Oh, dude, that would have cost nothing if it was called Pet. Um, we can push two damage that way, but two is not enough. Well, I guess we could have pushed the bow damage. He's got Draxus, is so bad, but there's nothing we can beat Draxus anyway, right? So we just kinda gotta accept that we lose to Draxus. Or do we? Alright. We got some top decks here for lethal, potentially. I'm just accepting the fate that I lose to Draxus. We also, if he doesn't kill me... Have, we have lethal, so hopefully he doesn't kill me. One, 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 one. Ah. Do I still need four? That's not good. Ah. Man. I have a lucky. He had all the heals. This guy's deck was crazy. Look, man, if I kill the boom, I just die in the long run, though. It's like... I stay alive that turn, sure, but they give him more time to draw the heals to just win. So, like... It doesn't accomplish anything. I can't just sit there killing all of his minions forever, because his are bigger. So, like, if I Creeper kill Command the Boom, then he can just keep staying alive against anything. Like, if he has the heal, then he heals, and then I'm like, oh, shit. Well, then he just stands there and doesn't proc Explosive Trap ever, and uh, clears all of the minions off the board over and over and over again, and never dies, man. It's too passive of a line. Because my deck minions one for one don't beat his deck's minions one for one, so it would work if my minions lined up better against his. But I would need like two big game hunters or something to make that happen. <laughs> Cause he just plays Molten Giants and then passes with those and I'm just like, well shit, and die. So I think we gotta take the YOLO line there. The only way to do it. Aha! Top dude. Not the worst thing in the world. Get that guy out there, the 3 4 summons 2 1 1s. Probably worth about 4 mana. Purple does stream, just uh, not too much on his own channel. He usually streams on the French channel. So you can check that out, because uh, prior to this, he was kind of like not really happy with his spot in Hearthstone, so he uh, ended up signing to be stream on someone else's channel, which is the French channel. So since he streams on the French channel, it kind of makes it harder for him to build up his own channel, but he felt like that was one of the best places for him to be at in Hearthstone, because his career wasn't taken off until just now with the whole Worlds thing happening. Now his career is exploding. Uh, things, but he's already locked into that commitment, so he's got to stick with him. But he does stream on his own channel from time to time. You can check him out. Yeah, right. Let's aggressively clear here. 
I'm gonna trade this way. This is gonna be able to deal with whatever comes out just fine. And then take this guy out. Aggressive clear. Keep him guessing at this trap. Just try and get in a good position to drop this high main next turn. What French channel? There's two different French channels. There's the Team Origin French channel, and then there's the Team Millennium French channel. They usually have a streamer going like 24-7 on both of those channels. Just they speak French and not English. But yeah, the French community is actually pretty big. Impressive. from Scooby-Doo. Crushing it. Never gonna win a joust against this deck, bruh. We're the king of jousts. Alright. We have to bluff the freezing here. I mean, protect the freezing. Oh, man. They never fall for the freezing, bro. Nah, he's got Consecrate. Never lucky. <laughs> Why do I try? I should stop trying to bluff it. It hasn't worked once all stream. That was a large thunder. What happened to HPL? HPL finals are happening sometime soon, I think, actually. They're like coming back. I don't know. That organization went weird. Is that G Easy? No, it's not G Easy. It's Gerald. Earl Gilliam. I don't know, he's got a bad name. <laughs> not very catchy, you know? Oh man, always Tyrion. The worst time I play, I'm playing a secret deck. I mean, I'm playing a, uh, whatchamacallit, Flare, and now I versus non-secret Spaladin. It's ridiculous. As soon as I play Double Flare, I verse... Second Consecrate. Alright, we get some more chip damage in. We're getting close. Where is our Unleash the Hounds? The Hounds. Ooh, that's fancy. Cycle. Come on, Flare. Oh, if it was Call Pet, we win the game. I want to put these Call Pet bags in. <laughs> Alright, we just need no taunts. No taunts, and we got him. Maybe one call pet, one flare. Get her down that way. Your hair looks like a 12 year old kid? That's weird. Never gotten that before. Tell my hair to go to school. Yeah, heal out of range of this, bub. Don't play Sludge Belcher, 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 don't play Sludge Belcher. Yeah. Do ya? You got the beast in your sight? Beast about to say hi, buddy. Yeah. 
Oh. God, that stomping. The beautiful stomps of death. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just stomp, stomp, stomp. Hunter, Hunter Mir, we probably keep these. What are we listening to? Not wrecked, wrecked, Tyrannosaurus wrecked. Why is people talking about, I didn't get a haircut, it's the same. It's literally the same. The only difference is I'm not wearing massive headphones because they broke. <laughs> it's literally the only difference. I don't have this ginormous headset on my head. Maybe that's the look I need. You guys just missed the giant headphones.